Good morning, everybody. Cindy with Heart Soul Confidence Based Horsemanship. And it is a beautiful winter morning. We have everybody here eating, enjoying breakfast. We have uh, clouds covering uh, the beautiful mountains around us. Our little sacred mountain up there has got clouds above it. I'm out here cleaning water troughs. And I wanted to share with you guys what I do to help keep my troughs clean. I have five of them here on the property. And um, as we all know, we have a few things we struggle with. We have the algae and keeping the water troughs clean, which is an ongoing project. We have weather that freezes them. We have critters that climb into them, usually right after we have just scrubbed them, cleaned them, filled them, and then we find a dead bird or squirrel or something in there and we have to start all over again. So I thought I'd share with you guys what I do. So here, um, this trough needs to be cleaned. This is actually, uh, hasn't been cleaned for a while. It's been filled regularly but and rinsed um, I try to clean my troughs every week. I don't always get it done. This one I think is two weeks out, but in between it has been rinsed and fresh water put in, just not scrubbed. And it's not looking too bad, but it's got some stuff on the sides of it. This one I just got done scrubbing and I scrub it with this handy dandy thing that my friend gave me. And it is a kind of abrasive little scrub scrub cloth washcloth and it's incredible it is so easy to get all of the nooks and crannies and get all of the stuff out of there pretty darn easily so that's a must she got it i think on amazon this nifty difty little thing right here is a charcoal filter that i got online it's the same kind of charcoal that they use in aquariums and it's got porous on both sides. See the water dumping out of it. And you just put this in here in your water trough up so it filters. And this thing is amazing. This water trough looks like it does because it's got this filter in there. So when I go to scrub it, there's a very small layer of algae on the edges and there will be dirt in the bottom. But almost effortless to clean so that's the bomb i got them online like i said they last each one lasts for up to six months if taken care of i clean it and scrub it and flush it every time i fill my scrub and fill my water troughs the basketball is in theory when it's windy the the wind will blow the ball around and it slows the freezing and the stick is to keep the rodents from falling in and drowning. They have something to draw to climb out on. The other thing that's nifty about the basketball, all of our water troughs have basketballs in them. What's really nifty about the basketball is, one, it helps slow the freezing, doesn't prevent freezing. Two, we can see how low our water troughs are from a distance. If we can't see the basketball, we know that it's that low. And what was unexpectedly very cool, is all of my pastures have at least one or more Mustangs in it. And what's pretty cool is that my Mustangs, when the uh, water troughs are frozen in the morning, they will, they have learned to push their nose down on that, wa on that basketball and punch through the thinner layer of ice underneath it and then roll the basketball over on top of these sheet of ice and they drink out of that little hole. So that was an unexpected a surprise so there you guys that's how i take care of my water troughs this filter and this little scrubby has been game changers for me it keeps my water clear the filter keeps it clear keeps it smelling fresh um, instead of having gross algae thick algae every week i'm able to dump it and flush it uh, hose it out really well um, at the end of the first week and then come in and scrub it on the second week. Now, if I would have done that without that filter, I would be, it'd take me 20 minutes to scrub each trough. So there you go, guys. I hope this is a helpful hint for you. I'm all about sharing how I take care of my horses and what seems to work better than other things. So have a wonderful day. 
I hope you enjoy where you're at. Here's Asha, to little, little Mustang mare, checking out the noise. That is a plane, but I can't see it. And uh, here's my faithful blue dog helping me do my chores. And Asha wants to know where her water is. Take care, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. If you like what you see, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, check out my website, www.heartsoulhorsemanship.com. I got some great retreats coming up and uh, some free videos on there. So, yeah, thanks for following. Take care.